Our unbeaten run has finally come to an end. It is November, we have lost one game of football, but I think we're going to be all right. All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I've not done this in a while. Just want to shout out to the four new Patreons on the channel. AD Robinson, Joel Staker, John Forrester, and Chris Harold. Thank you very much for your support. If you are interested in becoming a patron, I only need two more Patreons by the end of this month, November, for them me to do a shirt giveaway on the channel. Go check out the links down below. Now, as you can see, it is the magic of the FA Cup. We have made it through to the first round, and we have got Wickham Wanderers. By the way... New skin. I want you to let me know your thoughts down below. I think I'm going to do a video on it next week, but let me know your thoughts down below what you make of it. Okay, so it is Wickham today. They are eighth. Look at Gareth Ainsworth, that handsome bastard. Unfortunately, the only thing about this skin is um, it's not registering York as my city. So normally it would have a picture of, of the city of York, basically. Um, if we go through the if we go through the teams, there's York. Look. Beautiful. There's the Minster. We're first. They're second. We have lost one game of foosball. We lost to Geisley. Just one of those games we had like 20 odd shots as we tend to do and we just couldn't find the back of the net. Five points clear of York with a game in hand. They have drawn one, lost one, but they just keep signing players. They just keep signing players. Look at this. So since the start of the season, I think we spoke about him. Since then, they've signed, they've got three free transfers there, and they've signed one, two, three, four, five, six. Someone paid for their Aloni. They're spending big to get out of this division. The only thing is, their squad then is absolutely humongous. There is a couple of players that I'd like in there that are born in York, um, in particular Michael Woods. I don't think he's at the level as what we need. We don't really need him, but it would have been nice to bring someone across from there. We may have a cheeky punt. In the January transfer window, Michael Woods basically came through the youth system. He was York born, then moved to Leeds, then was part of a transfer deal with, I think, another dude as a six. It might have been this dude, Tom Teu. I think it was probably him. Yeah, 2.5. It was a £5 million deal, 2.5 for the both of them, and neither of them sort of like progressed into anything. To be fair to Michael Woods, he's been absolutely ravaged by injury throughout his career. Um, where is he? Injuries, injuries, injuries. And he's got himself back at York City. Where he was, as a, I imagine, as a very young child. Um, so, yeah, there's one potential transfer there. Just throwing money at it, basically. Us, on the other hand, we've not had to do anything. Our run has been the best, you know, the best thing about this series so far is that we just keep breaking records. And we literally do something and it breaks a record because obviously we've got no record. So, yeah, we had a very impressive winning streak. I think like 12 or 13 games in a row. And we've just lost to Geisley. Responded well with a gritty 2-0 win over Kidderminster who have just sacked ex-York City uh, player Russell Penn. So, we're maybe not quite at it. I'm also disappointed in here in October. Two FA Cup games as well. Loads of home games. It made us make a fair bit. We had £100,000 that month because um, we've had decent attendances. But, but... No clean sheets. After a September full of clean sheets, the next, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in uh, October, no clean sheets. We've got a clean sheet in the last game. You know me, I love a clean sheet. So this led me to kind of think, you know, have I overpowered the squad a little bit? I think it's naturally going to get harder anyway because the quality we get at the top end in terms of players in Yorkshire is going to be very, very difficult. However, looking at the squad, the players that obviously are performing well, now, Jamie Hopcutt is regarded as a League 2 player. We did get him from League 2 Oldham. However, if you look at his attributes, we're not playing him in his strongest position for a kickoff. We're playing him as an advanced forward when he's not got a lot of work rate, pace, stamina. Nothing stands out. His finishing's only 9 as well. Composure of 10. Nothing amazing. David Wheater now is predicted as a League 1 player, League 1 stand. However, in real life, he's a free transfer and his last club was Oldham. And Oldham was probably the worst club in the Football League you could probably choose. So he was obviously pretty desperate for a club. So I don't think that was unreal, un, 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 too realistic. 
John Parkins doing very well. Vanarama, North League player. Um, Callum Semple. Cammy Palmer's the only other one. I think he's regarded as a League Two player at the moment. Um, but the rest are sort of like Vanarama North standard or even less. Some of them are regional. A lot of these players down here are all classed as regional players. So... Yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I do think it's going to get a lot harder. You remember, look, Jacob Butterfield's a League One standard, but he's 30, what is he, 31? 31. So we over the last next two years, he's gonna, we're going to see a bit of decline from him. David Wheater is 34. Cammy Palmer, potentially, but there may be a case that we have to sell him, sell him on. Jamie Hopcutt is 29. Not physically the best either, so I imagine he's going to dip. And then John Parkin, the other one, Vanarama North standard, he's 39, and we probably won't see him at all next season. So... There's going to be a little bit of rebuilding to do. Yes, I think we'll be all right for the next two seasons. Jacob Butterfield, Wheater, Hopcut. Hopefully we can keep our hands on Palmer. Palmer is the player I want to see us carry through the saver as long as possible. That's the whole reason why we kept him. That's the only reason, sorry, why we, we got him in the squad. All right, let's go. It is Wickham Wanderers in the FA Cup. A cup run would be... Brilliant. We've had a nice little round, got through. We actually beat uh, Vanarama National League side, altering them 2-1, I think it was, in the last round. Real test for us today to see how good we are. Um, Herbergum, I think someone in the chat, someone in the comments uh, did put, let me check who it is. Chris Hans, Chris Hans FM was telling me, and we're going to go with Herbergum, Herbergum, Herbergum. Is that right? Here we go. Anyway, he's a lovely player. He just never stays fit. This is like his third injury now already. And it's meaning that we are playing a regional player level at this left-hand side. And he's done all right, to be fair, as Ruben Noble has. It does look dangerous down the left-hand side. I think it's a combination of having those key players in the team. And then the tactic, I think it's a good bloody tactic. I think it's a good tactic. And it's obviously, at the moment, working well. It's going to be interesting to see, though, how it does today against the big boys. We've got Kendrick finally fit as well, the goalkeeper, so I'm giving him a little bit of a run in. Uh, to be fair to uh, Giles, Giles, George Sykes Kenworthy, um, as he is called, our sub goalkeeper, has done all right, but I thought it was important to get Kendrick in. Kebby, our former Leeds and Atletico Madrid wing back, is injured, so we're going to go with Nathan Dyer, who is once again a regional, regional standard, is it? Coach report, yeah. Regional, which is like the lower the league below the conference north. I've got the York City shirt on as well. Why not? I have got Athletic Club Bilbao shirts coming for me. If you are interested in an Athletic Club Bilbao shirt, let me know down in the comments if you're interested. It'd be like it's gonna be like twenty five to thirty quid. I had a few issues with the current supplier. Um, so we may look at going elsewhere or unless he can get his stuff side. But if you are interested in potentially an athletic club shirt, put it down in the comments. Right, here we go. FA Cup time, baby. John Parking back up front. We've let Gabby play the last few weeks. John Parking came back in for the last game. Grab two goals. Here we go. We're at home, so attendance should be good. Right, Abita. I think it's like former Spurs youngster, I think. Jonathan Abita, potentially. Headed clear. Grimmer. Scowen. Nice ball out to Abita. This is the first team where we're probably going to be under the cost. We've absolutely battered everyone in our sight so far. We could suffer from the sort of like the PSG Champions League Blues, where they're fine in their league because they coast in. When it comes to the crunch in a big cup Champions League game, like last night against Manchester City, they get absolutely played off the park. So that could well be the case for us today. Where this jump between the standard is just a little bit too big. We're 12 minutes in. Stockdale is a keeper that I want to get hold of. He is York City. Started his career at York City. The former, where's he been? I think he was at Brighton last, I think. Before, I think he's on loan from Brighton at Wickham for this season. So it'd be good to get him in. Grimmer. Scowan, Butterfield steps in. Tackled. Still going a Wheeler. Thompson, we're not used to not having the ball. Vokes has hit it from distance and it's gone over the ball. That'll be Sam Vokes, is it? Going to give them a little bit of an encourage. What on earth is going on here? There's no point putting two there and then leaving one free. The, the fact managed to find someone else for you anyway. What the fuck was that football manager? And it's a goal. Of course it is. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What kind of setup have we got there? Who's that? Harrison, my right, my right centre half, has just let really just spin off, what, a yard? Get some space. Nicely worked. To be fair, the, the move from Wickham after that was really good, but that wasn't pretty, was it? That wasn't pretty at all. Just over 7,000 in the stadium as well. 
Dyer into parking. Dyer, lovely not. Raconza was on it. Raconza's not scored for a while. Stockdale hoofs one in the air. We've got three underneath it. We should get it down. We do. But it's going to go back to Wickham. Hogan, the goal scorer, I think. A beater. Hogan. Gape. It's an awful surname. Uh, a beater. Hogan again. Strikes from distance. We should be okay with that one. A few of their shots from distance, though. They've pummeled us a little bit. Let's have a little demand more. Right, Noble Lazarus, Palmer, Noble Lazarus, nice pass into Palmer. He's going to set it. He finds Butterfield, who likes to shoot from the edge of the area. He decides to go back to Wheater, to Harrison, out wide to Dyer, to Raconza, Butterfield, Harrison, Raconza, Dyer, good football. Are we going to finish with a little bit of end product? Dyer, can he dig out a cross? He does. John Parkin's there. And John Parkin will score anything around the six-yard box onto his head. He is going to score. First bit of action for us. Lovely, patient build-up from us as well. We finally got Nathan Dyer down this right-hand side. He digs out a lovely cross. John Parkin just goes in and nods it in. 1-1 one, one in the FA Cup. That's our first effort on goal. Right, we'll praise that. We could have a free kick here. Big John, he's already scored this season from a free kick. Short run up. Ooh, he got some whippage, but just missing the top corner. We've really picked it up in this second half. Noble Lazarus to Palmer. Good football. We're waiting for an opportunity. We're at the back stick. Parking is there, and Parking has hit the bar. And Noble Lazarus has got it. Are we going to carry it on, Palmer? Ooh, it's cleared. Is this going to be a break? We've got plenty of men back, to be fair. Hogan's carrying it up the pitch, though. Butterfield. He shouldn't get past Butterfield. He doesn't. Good tackle. Jebson King is going to have to come on at left wing back. That's not great, because he's only a regional standard. Cammy Palmer is struggling. So let's go Luca Coville. And we need a little change up front. Let's go Gabby McGill for Jamie Hopcut. He's got a few goals recently as McGill. 20 minutes to go. We're going to encourage the last 10. Is there a chance? We've really turned it around in this second half. And a draw may be a fair result, unless we can nick something here. Coville has gone for a whippage. Rosonka off the post. It wasn't a whippage, it was just a hoof into the air. Right, McCleary. Grimmer, we're going to score, not Gape. Oh, you heard me slag his name off. He heard me slag his name off, didn't he? Dominic Gape. 91st minute, and that'll probably be the winner, boys. They've got a free kick to finish it off as well. Jacobson. Take your time. Let's put it in. <laughs> oh, boys, we were close. We were close. We nearly forced a replay, which money-wise would have been brilliant. Look at that. 90 plus 1, 90 plus 5. Dear, oh dear. A bit of a heartbreaker there, boys. I'm going to say unlucky. That's our FA Cup dream done. New York City, in it? They've managed to draw with Oxford City. Not the greatest result. They've got a Clark scoring goals from Flynn Clark on loan from Norwich. This is the thing as well. We can keep... If we use this skin, we can keep up to date with the finances at York City. Um, they've got a front-end sugar data, which obviously we know about. They've lost a sort so, so far they are four hundred thousand pounds in the red for the season. They've got ninety nine point two seven million left as a bank balance. Um transfer budget, <laughs> they've got thirty five million. Not sure if he's gonna spend all that, but they just keep buying a bit of tat, basically. Stocking fillers as we would call it for Christmas. Right, boys, that is it. Hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, let me know down in the comments what you think to the skin. Also, let me know what, uh, if you're interested in an athletic club shirt, is that something that I can maybe get going? Let me know down in the comments. We will see you on Tuesday night, 9pm. I'm going to kick on a little bit because the season is coasting. I'm not going to pay too much attention. We're out at the FA Cup. I'm not going to pay too much attention to the FA Vars. That'll give me the opportunity to rotate. Um, I think next episode, yeah, we're going to have to come back for York City. York City. Triple header with maybe even Kirsten Ashton, who are managed by a York City legend, Sir Gary Mills. Look at the hair on Dale. Look at the hair on Dale. 
All right, boys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Smash a like on all that jazz. See you later.